Hi everyone, my name is Sue. Welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about needle tatting and creating the picos. The pico is the little loop that creates a, a decorative edge. All right, let me get this pico. I've already created one and I haven't threaded my needle. I'm just using the thread as it comes off the ball, just for demonstration. So there's one Pico. Now, as you can see, I have some paper clips and some magnets, and I found a way to get consistent size Picos. This magnet is a craft magnet. It's a little bit too thick. I don't think it works well. So I found these magnets that I keep on hand. These are the earth magnets, I believe they're called. They're really strong. They're not easy to pry off, so they don't get lost easily, but you do want to be careful around your pets or children. All right, so let's start off with the paper clip. So I have two sizes, and you can find other sizes. And there's two ways you can do this. You can either just hold the paper clip, I think I would want to go this way more. Just hold the paper clip and start your, you know, your hat, your double stitches. Hold on one second. Let me get the, there we go. I want to get the ball of thread going. Or you can put the paper clip onto the needle like that. And that way you don't have to hold it. So either way is fine. Let me get the end. So I like to actually hold it because it does move around a little bit. So you want to keep your um, stitches behind the paper clip and just hold that. And I'm only new to this, so I'm not really that good with manipulating everything at this point. Um, I've been crocheting and knitting a long time. So here's your spacer. I'll do one more double stitch. And you can remove the paper clip and we'll do one more so ignore the first one here this is the one that we're going to try to duplicate so we can take the paper clip these are coated with some kind of i think it's a vinyl i believe so on this paper clip you can just do another pico as a spacer and you I'm just demonstrating very briefly so you'll get the idea and we'll put that together and they're not the same size because I'm looking at this far away I can't get real close normally I keep it close to me so here's the Picos and they're not too bad but they would be better if I had a better uh, view Actually, they're, they are not not the same size, but they would be if I could see a little better. All right, so let's try the larger paper clip. So we can hold that. Okay. Make the first half. Hold on one second. I like to actually, well, let's, let's forget that one. Let's just put it on to the whole, there we go. That's what I wanted. With the larger one, I would slip it onto the needle. So we're going to do just two double stitches in between. We're going to remove the paper clip. And if it does get caught, you can just take it out. And there's your Pico. We'll try that again. Going to do another Pico with the first half of the double stitch the second half we'll do one more double stitch which as you know is two stitches really that one came out so you're just going to practice with how to place it i think it's better if you put it on to the needle my opinion but you might just like holding it like that all right just with you know, holding with your index finger or whatever. All right, so now this one's going to go next to that one. And 
let's do one more because I think I didn't quite. All right, let's see. Let me get a little closer because you said you need to really see well. So you would be a little faster than me. I'm still like learning the stitches and everything. And it's not a, a difficult task. All right, so the next two are a little bit better, but you're going to practice and you will get them the same size, definitely. But I came up with the idea of the magnet because to me, it fits right there onto your needle like that. And I'm just going to bring it a little closer. Let's do the second half. Let's do one more. Let's remove the magnet. Put the Pico together. And let's try the magnet again. All right. There we go. It stays in the middle. Okay, let's do the second half now of the double stitch. Let's take off the magnet. These things are strong. And let's put them together. And let's see, not too bad. And the last two, again, they're not exactly, they're pretty good, but I think it's because if I were closer, I would be more particular. So let me try one more time. Let's get the magnet. Let's place it there. And we're going to put it right up against the other stitches. So you have to go close unless you have super eyesight. So we get the next, I mean, the first part and the second part. We're going to do one more. And... When you put the magnet on, don't squish the stitches here on to your right if you're right-handed. You can do this the other way if you're left-handed. Whoops, the magnets are very strong. All right. So, let's see. I think this it's a little bit better, but you have to make sure you don't squish the stitches. Just put it there and do, and you know, the more experienced you are, the better it would be. So there's the two. So here's the magnets I buy and they're larger size or smaller size. I tried also the binder clip, but because it has the little ridges, doesn't quite work too good. Let's just try. I think if I take this off, it's going to be stuck a little bit because of the edge here. But it does kind of work. I mean, you get a really large loop. You may want that. Let's just try one more time with the paper clip. I actually think I'm liking the paper clip. Because you can hold it there. Just bring the thread up. I feel like it gives a better edge. Let's do one more double stitch. Let's take the paper clip off. Of course, this other one's in the way now, the big one. All right, let's do one more with the paper clip so we can compare. So you want to hold that, pull the thread up. This is the first double stitch. And the second one... And let's take the paper clip off and let's do it together. Now that's very good. The, the two that I just made, not that big one there, but these two are really pretty good, almost like perfect in size. Let's see if I can hold that and adjust it a little bit. So that's it. So you can look around for tools in your household. Yeah, they're like, I would say they're like perfect, pretty good, perfect in size with the paper clip. And I want to experiment more 
with all these magnets here and we'll see how it goes but that's just a diy if you don't have the picket gauge you're waiting for it to arrive maybe for a christmas present then you can use these things around the house and i hope that helps and i hope you enjoy your needle tatting